guys, welcome. Previously, if I want to use any keyboard for my iPad, I like to use a wireless keyboard. But from now on, I don't want to use it anymore. You know why? Because Apple has invented the best accessory for my iPad, which is known as the Magic Keyboard, which helps to make my iPad into a full-size computer. It has a trackpad, which acts as a cursor, and it has the keypad with scissor switches. It looks like I am going into the future. Let's see what we get for 300 bucks. Same as all other Apple products, it also got a pull tab. Let's peel it and check what's inside. Are you guys excited to see? I am excited. Same old procedure, check the box to open. And here you can see that the magic keyboard is up top. Okay, inside the box it looks like it is a keypad and let's see what's more. I guess pretty much that's it, nothing else. The keyboard was wrapped in a plastic. Let's remove it and see how it looks. For me, it looks great. And it also has an Apple logo on the front. The keyboard is a bit heavy. It is around 3 pounds, I guess. And it is also a bit difficult to open. Inside, there is a little packet which says designed by Apple in California. Let's see what's inside the packet. It comes with the user manual and the warranty card. But there are no Apple stickers. What? Why Apple? Can they even deserve two Apple stickers for the 300 bucks? It is very soft. I guess it was made of silicon rubber. And if you turn it back, there is a camera slot as well. Let's open and see how it was. Let's check it out. Wow, it's incredible. The build quality was amazing. It is super rigid and very strong. The hinge mechanism is awesome. It's perfect and nice. And also, it comes with the USB-C pass-through cable. If you see here, the top part is full of magnets, which helps to hold the iPad without falling down. It even has the very strong magnets which lock the iPad. To set up this all in one place, we need to open up and you can feel the hinge has the locking point and it gets into the locking point and it will lock in one place. Once the hinge is locked, the top part acts as a flex and now you can bring your iPad and dock it to the magnets and it will perfectly lock in one place. And now you can pop off the iPad as much as you need and you can get the complete feel like a MacBook. You can now even adjust the iPad to whichever viewing angle you are comfortable. I want to flip it and see how strong it was docked. Wow, it's so strong, it didn't fall apart. It even comes with a trackpad which is very easy to navigate with and it has the gestures which are easy to learn if you are used to the iPad OS or Mac OS. This trackpad is so small in comparison with the MacBook Pro trackpad. Three finger swipe up goes to the home screen. Three finger swipe up with a pause will go to the recent apps. Three finger swipe left and swipe right will shuffle between the recent apps. If you want to right click, use your two fingers and click or tap and it will pop you the right click option. Move your cursor down quickly then it goes to the dock and if you push it past a little bit then it goes to the home screen. It has a full size keyboard with attached trackpad which makes the work easy and simple. Even we can send a long emails quickly and even you can make notes with the laptop type experience. The keys on the iPad keyboard are the scissor switches. They are very easy to type. The key travel is 1mm with very responsive typing and it provides very comfortable typing. Let's compare with the MacBook Pro. Keys of the MacBook Pro are butterfly switches, which are flat. They are a bit hard to type and the key travel is very less. The trackpad doesn't have the function keys and there is a lot of space between the iPad and the keyboard and it doesn't even have the escape key. It is a backlit keyboard which really helps while using in the dark. The keyboard light varies depending upon the screen brightness. 
To set up the speed of the cursor, go to the settings, open general and trackpad. Here, you can adjust the speed as you need and you can adjust the trackpad settings as well. The magic keyboard is a bit difficult to open with one hand. It doesn't have any hinge to open. We can easily open the MacBook with one hand because it has a hinge. Here you can easily see the difference between the MacBook and keyboard that the keyboard doesn't have a hinge to open. The keyboard is made of scissor switches where you can find only in the latest MacBook Pro 16 inch and MacBook Air 13 inch. It supports second generation iPad as you can see till now as I have used and now let's see it even supports for the first generation iPad and let's see how it goes. It even works perfectly for the first generation iPad as well. Just place the iPad on the magnetic dock. It just connects without any pairing process. It is simple, easy and perfect as always Apple does. The Magic Keyboard comes in two sizes. You can see here one is 11 inch and 12.9 inch. And let's see what it is compatible for. I guess it is compatible for first generation iPad which is 2018 iPads and second generation iPads which is 2020 iPads. It has front and back protection which folds into a case. It protects the iPad while traveling and it even protects the iPad from scratches. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to Pocket Tech and hit the bell icon to get the notifications.